Good morning, and it is a Wednesday. <laughs> My husband and I like to call it Hump Day, and you know, um, I as I was thinking about uh, what's going on in the world right now, I was starting to wonder. You know, we're living in a time of so much anti-Semitism. I wonder if they're going to blame the Jews. I, you know, and there's going to be some people that are going to blame the Jews about this. Why? And, and I want to tell you about the Black Death. The Black Death was the worst plague ever in history. And it killed 75 to 200 million people. It started in 1940, or 1348 and it ended in uh, 1351. So it was three years long. And it went all over Europe. And um, it w actually wiped out half of Europe's population. The Jews were accused of poisoning wells because they did not use public wells. Uh, they, um, they were less affected by others because of the Torah laws. The Torah laws had special washing, uh, hand washing laws that were in it. They, um, to, to wash before you eat, they had to wash before they eat, and they had a double-handed cup. And so if they were right-handed, they would wash the, the, take the cup, and they would pour it over the right hand first, and then they'd pour it over the left, and then they'd turn it over the right first. So the 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 prominent hand, they would it would get double washed uh, because it would be, be double used. And also, you know, back then in, in the 14th century, people didn't bathe a lot. You know, I was reading one time about uh, weddings, and the reason that that the the bride carries flowers is for the first, so she would get the fragrance and not the fragrant, you know, the body odor that was around her. And um, in, interesting things like that. But the Jewish people were supposed to bathe uh, before every Shabbat. The, the Jewish people were to bathe once a week, which was unusual for other people. They didn't bathe, they didn't wash their hands before they ate. They didn't wash their hands when they cooked. They didn't bathe. And that's why the Jewish people were not as affected as the other population in Europe. And so they, they started blaming them. There was 510 Jewish communities that were destroyed during this period. Um, Another reason is they would they would talk about the the um, the plagues in Egypt and they said, you know, uh, that the Jews the Jews killed all the people in in Egypt. They're going to do it for, um, they're going to do it to us too. And so another thing, the Jews didn't keep dogs and cats as pets. They kept kept cats uh for to kill to kill the rats that's what they kept cats for but they didn't have pets in and uh, pets would in those times would bring a lot of germs um uh, leviticus 15 1 says and whomever has discharged touches or has not rinsed her hands in water so there they, this was this was laws they had laws of being clean back in those days uh exodus um 30 17 through 21 has the laws of hand washing and a labor of bronze. Now I've got a, um, I've got a uh, um, encyclopedia of the Holy Temple from Jerusalem. And in here, see if I can get a good picture. I don't know if I can get a, can you see that? It's the, um, it's a bronze labor. And it had a 12 oxen underneath it made of, totally made of bronze. And um, it was, oh, what it was there for is for people to wash before they went in before the Lord. You know, who can before, come before the Lord that has clean hands and a pure heart? And uh, so these are some of the things that, that, uh, that Israel was taught to do from the very beginning. And then they were taught to pray. They were taught to pray. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who has sanctified us with your commandments and commanded us concerning the washing of the hands. So the Jewish people were, were uh, throughout plagues, throughout history, the Jewish people have been uh, blamed for plagues because they didn't, they didn't have very many people die from plagues because they had been taught by God 
to, to have clean hands and a pure heart. So that's my word for you today. Uh, my husband is just saying that there's no volume. Nobody else is saying it. I hope you're hearing me. God bless you and have a great Wednesday. Bless you.